Hallelujah. Praise God. We'd like to welcome everybody out to the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We'd like to welcome the visitors to our reach ministry all the way from the USA to the UK. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, reaching out to the soul of man. Oh, Hallelujah. Praise God. We come to let the world know about the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Because we look at Jesus Christ and everything that he went through and he endured. If we look back, hallelujah, praise God, and see if he would have came short at any time, where would we be? Where would we be? Hallelujah, praise God. But you see, Jesus Christ, he came with a determination. He came with a made-up mind. Thank you, Lord, that he was going to set his mind like a friend, flint and complete the work of the Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And because he was so determined, he gave people like us a hope and a chance. Thank you, thank you Lord. Praise God. When we seem hopeless, thank you, Lord. Praise God. We had to look the one that endured everything yeah. all the way to the end. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And you see, that's the same mind that we done took on. Yes, Lord. And we're going to do this race all the way to the end. Praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. No matter what may try to come withstand us, no matter what may try to come in our way, we got to run on for the Lord. Come on, brother. Hallelujah. Right. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. That's right. We got to let the world know that Jesus Man. Christ, he is alive. Yes, Lord. He is very much so alive. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Praise God. Yes. And if you got enough to believe that Jesus Christ is alive today, and he'll come and manifest himself under you like he did to each and every soul in this house. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to have some brothers testifying. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to have a song service. We're going to have a, a list of young sister come up and sing unto the Lord. That's what it's all about. Hallelujah. I picked this song up, what you were preaching. Because I know that where would we be? If Jesus still love us. Oh Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Where would we be? Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. If he didn't care. Come on, sister Tiger. Oh Lord. Thank you. Where would we be? Thank you, Lord. Jesus still love us. Oh, tell me where. Oh Lord, thank you. Where would we be? Where would we be? Jesus in love us. Where would we be? He didn't care. Where would we be? Jesus in love us. Oh, tell me where. Where would we be? I am so glad.
Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's what we come to do. We come to bless that mighty name. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord. Praise yes, God. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All ye servants of the house of the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. Lord. We stand by night Jesus. in the sanctuary. Yes, Lord. Lord. Lift up your hands. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Because we know that his mercy is endure forever. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says, Great is he to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. He's so worthy. We praise his name because everything that he has done for us, everything that he didn't have to do, he did. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why we give glory and honor to his name. When you're looking for a friend, when you're looking for a confidant, when you're looking for someone that you can lean on, you can lean on Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because you see, he said he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. He'll be, he'll be the one to stick closer than a brother. You see a friend loving at all times? Thank you, Lord. Praise God. But you got a friend that'll stick closer than a brother. You see, that brother is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, we dependent on Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Because you see, in our time, times of weakness and our times when we need his strength. Oh, we have to Lord. call upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I said we have to call upon Jesus Christ. Lord, Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You got people out there that's calling upon Buddha. You got people that's calling on a lot of people. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. But you see, there's no other name under heaven that I know that can carry power. There's no other name under heaven that got weight. Thank you, Lord. Praise Whoa. God. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. There's no other name. No other name that make you feel good in your soul when you call out on it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. No Amen. other name that'll bring joy and happiness to your soul when you call up on it. When you believe in that name. You see, he has said, I come to give light to them. Hallelujah. Praise God that believe in that name. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Don't you know that the world, it lies in darkness. Amen. But Jesus, he came to be the light. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, praise Lord. God. And you see, the Bible said it was light. And the life was the light of me. Hey, we yes, come Lord. to the light to a lost and dying world. Hey, Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I said we come to shine that light. Hey, we come to hey. give hope to those that may be hey. feeling hopeless. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Bless your name, Jesus. But if you got faith, Amen. enough faith today, I'm talking about faith as a grain as a mustard seed. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, praise oh, God. Because oh. if you ever seen a mustard seed, once you start to plant it, and you water it, and you give it sunlight, and you nourish that plant. It'll, it'll grow up to be something great, and hallelujah, praise God, it'll grow up to be something great. One of the biggest trees. Well, what about you today? Hallelujah, praise God. Don't you want to be deeply rooted in the word of God? Don't you want to be planted in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah, praise God, bless your name, Jesus. What we know about a foundation that you can build yourself upon today. Thank you, Lord, praise God. We know about a sure foundation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. Bless your name, Jesus. You see, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God. He said, if any man heareth my commandments and keepeth them, I will show them unto whom he is like. Hallelujah, praise God. He is like a man who when he had built his house, he had had to dig deep. Hallelujah, praise God. Because you see, when you build and you dig deep, thank you, Lord, praise God. We know that your foundation, when your foundation is upon that rock, it can't be moved. When the streams come and be vehemently on that house, when the terrorists try to come, thank you, Lord, praise God. You got one that you can trust on today, and his name is Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. You can trust in Jesus Christ today. Hallelujah, praise God. And I know one thing about the devil, he'll knock your faith, and he'll make you want to have so much unbelief and not be, put your trust in a lot of people. Thank you, Lord, praise God. But you see, the Bible say that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But if you believe in thank the Lord, praise God. If you believe in Jesus Christ today, he got enough to bring your mind. Hallelujah, praise God, and elevate it. That he can show you the deeper depths and the higher heights of God. Hallelujah, praise God, that he can root and ground your soul on the foundation that came be moved. Thank you, Lord, praise God. But one thing about serving God, you got to have your mind made up. Because he like Jesus. He was willing to forsake it all. He was willing to forsake the so-called friends. He was willing to forsake the so-called our families. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. When you have a great love of God, oh, thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. You'll, you'll lose the so-called friends. Yes, you'll right. have to separate yourself oh, from the family members. 
Well, and look at that man, Abraham. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. When it was time for him to separate himself, God, he had called him and told him that he would make him a great nation. Well, what about you today? Do you want to make a stand for God today? That you can generational curses. Praise God. And you can stand for those after you. That's right. Come on, brother. All right. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, for man hopeth in him. If you put your hope in Jesus Christ today, hallelujah, praise God, you shall purify yourself through him. Thank you, Lord. Praise God just like he is pure. You see, he had gave us something to purify our souls. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Bless your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Something to be able to build and stand on. Something that'll bring your mind. Hallelujah. Praise God. Where you can be no longer tossed to and fro. But you see, the Bible let us know that we must be vigilant. We must be sober. Because it's an enemy. And he's out there treading over the soul of man. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. We got to be vigilant and sober. Because there's an enemy who walking around as a roaring lion. Seeking whom he ain't made devour. And he's been devouring the soul of man from the ages been and the ages to come. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. But I tell you, the day, the day when Jesus Christ has dominion over your soul. Hallelujah. Praise God. When he has dominion over your soul. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. He said he would give you power. He said he would give you power to tread over serpents, over scorpions, over all power over the enemy. Hallelujah. Praise God. When I knew that my soul was being trampled down by the enemy. Thank you, Lord. Praise Thank God. Jesus. And before it was too late, the Lord, he had sent the Savior. And that was his son. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He has sent the Savior. Where would I be without my Lord? Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I said, where would you be without your Lord? Come on. If you look at the mercy that's been bestowed yes, upon your soul, you, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And he called you to be a fellow heir with his son. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. A fellow heir. Do you know what that is? You see, he had put away inheritance for his people. Hallelujah. He had put something away for himself. On, Thank you, right? Lord. Praise God. That for himself, we will glorify him. Don't you know that God all he wants is the honor and glory? That's right. And why can't we give him that? He deserves. That's right. He deserves. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And how do we do that? By reverencing his son. You see, Jesus, having a mind to want to obey and having a mind to be obedient. Yes, Lord. Well, you know, thank you, Lord. Praise God. Through his obedience, hallelujah, praise God. He has suffered many things. But through his obedience, hallelujah, praise God, it said he was exalted. Come on. He was exalted above the angels. Yes, and he was given a name. Come on, brother. He was given a name above all names. Right. Yeah. And that's what we do. We lift up the name above all yes. names. And that name is Jesus. Man, thank hallelujah. You, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So we're going to call up some brothers. Thank you, Lord. Praise God to testify about the goodness of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank Bless you. your name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Yes, Lord. We know that without the name of Jesus Christ, see, the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, Lord. When you really meditate on that name, Amen. when you really think about that name, when you really just open up your heart on, and you just start talking to the Lord, See, when you find yourself in that secret place and you just talking to the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, and this compassion just falls right there down on your soul. I know me, myself, there's been plenty of times when I done opened up and I done talked to the Lord. I'm talking about some deep conversations. Hallelujah, praise God, thank you, Jesus. And just to know that he was right there listening to me and willing to answer me back. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord, praise God. I just thank him. I thank him so much. Hallelujah. Praise God. And it ain't nothing in this world that should be able to ever separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That gift for your soul. Today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can I borrow from the sunshine? Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
They tore or not. They have to worry about nothing. They don't have to worry about what to clothe themselves with. How much greater are we? Oh. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. What is the soul of man that God is so mindful of? Yeah. Oh, yes, well, why has he visited us? Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because he loved our soul that much. And he didn't want us to perish. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. But to give us a gift. An everlasting gift. Come on, that we receive now. And we take with us. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the life to come. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Well, I'm going to call up another, I'm going to call up a brother. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So we can testify about the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Brother Tristan. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Bless your holy name. <laughs> it's always amazing when you, when you can come in contact with the Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that comforts your mind. Thank you. Not only comforts your mind, but being able to feel that security within yourself. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, when you've been insecure in the world, thank you, Lord, let down by men. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, but when you call out on that name, the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And it's just something about a confident spirit that just comes over. Yes, Lord, you can just feel them. You can just feel them like you're wrapping itself around your mind. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. You were able to hold on to that feeling. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Something that you didn't have out in the world. You didn't have anything to call on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You find yourself miserable. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Depressed, anxiety, always anxious. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. But you come in contact with the Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. You come in contact with the love that you couldn't feel out there in the world. Because the world don't know that love. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Like my brother was saying, the world lies in darkness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this light that we found in Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He says he come, He lighted every man that come into the world. Right, but we came into his world. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. See, it's no longer I that live. Thank you, Lord Jesus. See, my mind wasn't doing anything for me. Thank you, Lord. But when I repented, thank, thank you, Lord Jesus, when I trawled after God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Because God wasn't far from me. Thank you, Lord. thank you, Lord Jesus. But he gave me a mind to seek after him. Thank you, Lord Jesus, when I had when He gave me that mind. I only seek after Him. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the hunger and thirst after His ways. Thank you, Lord, after His righteousness. Amen. Yes, Lord, I had to deny myself. Amen. See, I seen, yes, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. Lord, I can't do it no more. Amen. I tried and I kept failing. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. I wanted to try to I wanted to learn how to overcome. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the first step to overcoming, thank you, Lord Jesus, I had to repent of all my sins. Amen, I had to realize. Thank you, Jesus, yes, Lord, that it wasn't going to work. Thank you, Lord, Jesus, yes, Lord, that it was never going to work. Thank you, Lord, Jesus, I had to move me out the way. Come on, Thank you, Lord, come Jesus, on. I had to allow the Lord to show me that I was the problem. Come on, come on. Thank you, Lord, Jesus, yes, Lord, you got a lot of people. Thank you, Lord, Jesus, they can't see it yet. But when God shows you and you come to an acknowledgement of it, thank you, Lord, Jesus, yes, Lord, that is when he's able to help you. Amen. That is when he's able to, yes, Lord, Jesus, reveal his son to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, because the Bible says the Son of God is come and has given us an understanding. Oh, oh. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. See, a lot of times we find ourselves lost because we ain't understanding stuff. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. You see a lot of, you see a lot of, a lot of words, a lot of titles, a lot of things associated with God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. But it's another thing when you understand God. Oh, really? See, when I started understanding God. See, I, learned, I started learning, thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, of the false way. See, Jesus said, uh, the Bible says, through the precepts, I get an understanding. Right, Therefore, I hit every false way. Right. Thank you, Lord. So when you come to God, thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, and you come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, he's going to put a division right there. He's going to show you the false ways, and he's going to show you his way. That's why Jesus said, on the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come unto the Father but by me. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So when I came to Jesus, he showed me how to line up my life according to his words. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He showed me how to learn. He showed me how to line up. He started lining up my mind. Anything that was in my mind, thank you, Lord Jesus, that was against God, he was taking it out. Thank you, Lord. He started purging. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He started bringing forth fruit on the righteous. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. He showed me the righteousness of God. Because I was once blind to it. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, going about. Thank you, Lord Jesus, not knowing how to please God. Living a life. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus, but that life wasn't serving God. That's right, brother. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. I was walking dead. 
had no knowledge of my soul, had no knowledge of God able to overcome. The Bible says, be of good cheer. Come Jesus on. said, be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. Oh, See, the world try to bow you down. Try to have you walk around with your head down. Feeling nothing like you can't do it. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But we came in contact with the man that overcame. Amen. The man, Jesus. Amen. See, Jesus says to him that overcome it, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Well, I came in contact with that man. I came in contact with his spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that spirit allowed me to overcome right. every spirit that had me bound in the world. If I could just push my mind, if I could just sit there and call out on his name, oh, yeah. no matter how long it takes, oh, yeah. thank you, Lord Jesus, I know what I keep calling on that name. Yeah. It's going to be strength there. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. He teaches me how to set my mind on things above, set my affections. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, how to really reach out Amen. and try to get in contact with his spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You can learn more about it right here. In these Jesus' name ministers. Thank Amen. You. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We definitely want to set our mind on things above. He say, lay your treasures up in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, that's just putting your mind in a place. Hallelujah. Praise God where the devil can't find you. Come on, brother. But you see, you can't do it on your own. You can't do it by yourself. Right. It's going to take Jesus Christ and his knowledge and his Amen. understanding. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You see, because he said, the Lord giveth knowledge. The Lord giveth wisdom. And wisdom and understanding coming out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the more that you get in contact with the spirit, He'll start to open up the words you, that, that his father gave to him that you can know who God truly is. Come on. How to serve God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We serve God with the mind. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And you see, serving God with the mind, then the body starts to follow. You see, the serving, serving God through the mind of Jesus Christ, you understand what living righteousness is. Living yeah. righteousness is. You understand what living holy is. Because you see, the Bible also let us know to follow peace with all men. Holiness without shall no man see the Lord. Oh, right. When you see, when you get in contact with Jesus Christ, he'll show you what it is to walk a holy way. Right. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And it's not putting on your own righteousness. Because you can have your own righteousness, thank you, Lord, which becomes a self-righteousness. And the self-righteousness is not the righteousness of God. Right. Because if you look at those Jews back then, they had a righteousness. They were upholding a form of righteousness. But the righteousness that they had, Jesus let them know that their righteousness was his filthy rags. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why they didn't want to hear Jesus. Because he had came to show them the way. He was letting them know that the way that they were serving God was the wrong way. And he was trying to help them to bring their mind to show them that this is the way that they need to go. If you say God is your father, then you would hear me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. But what did they do? They hung this man on the cross. The same one that studied with him over 30 years. Come on, brother. Hallelujah. Praise God. He was raised up in church with him. That's right. And it was a day when he would go back and let him know, hallelujah, praise God, that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Oh, yeah. on, to preach good times oh, yeah. to the meat. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, what well, Jesus himself had to get in contact with something from the Father. He was going, he was going through a teaching. But he had to receive something from the Father oh, to be yeah. able to let the world know. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. There's something greater that you're missing out on. There's something greater that you're missing out on. Amen. What was the purpose of Jesus Christ getting baptized if he had no sin? We know that baptism is for repentance and the remission of sins. Well, Jesus was a man that was made sin and knew no sin. Come on. Okay. So what was the reason for him to be baptized? It was a teacher that he was up under. And he had to break that teaching. He had to break that teaching. Oh, yeah, you see, if you look, hallelujah, praise God, and say that the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Moses, he was a good man. He did great things in his time. But the glory that Moses had, it couldn't excel the, 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 the glory that Jesus got. Come on, hallelujah, praise God. The glory that he had, the people couldn't behold his face when he came down the mountain. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Praise God. But you see, the Bible let us know that that glory will be done away with. On, and it was a greater glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. That was let you see 
uh, that will let you see the glorious gospel of God through the face of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes. When God said he had commanded the light to shine, don't you know that Jesus Christ was opening up his mouth to those who sat in the region of shadow of death? Come on now. Hallelujah, praise God. He had opened up his mouth with an understanding Come on, that those people, they were blinded by and they couldn't see. They wanted to hold on to the traditions of men. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. That was put in a place. But you see, that wasn't enough to make it to be with God. On, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Praise, praise God. God. So just imagine if Jesus at any time would have thought in his mind, I can't go no further. These nails in my hand, I can't take it no more. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just let me go ahead and die right now. Where will we be? Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Bless your name. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. You, but don't you know Jesus Christ, he loved his life. He didn't. He, dis he disregarded his life unto death. Come on. That he could gain life and give life to those that will believe him. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And I'm going to let you, going to call up another brother to let him know. Thank you, Lord. Praise God about the wonderful life of Jesus Christ. Amen. So did the one say. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, sweet Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Lord. As the brothers was talking to uh, Brother Powell a little earlier, one thing Brother Powell said, he said, if two or three of us got them together in the mighty name of Jesus, yeah, yeah, Lord. he'll be right there in the middle. That's, right. that's true, ain't that right? Yes, right. But that's why we ain't here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, to Amen. share the gospel with somebody that really wants the Lord. That's right. Thank Amen. you, Lord Amen. Jesus. Yes, Lord. The brothers just got through testifying how the Lord can talk them out of dark time. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. I found out when you get power to start resisting the enemy, oh. don't you know they can join you closer and closer to the Lord? Right. So I found out your minds will put you in, oh. but your mind also will take you out. Right. But we try to keep that same mind, Amen. that mind in Christ Jesus. On, See, so Christ Jesus had the mind to go out there and preach his for the world. Right. He went out there healing the sick. He right. went out there telling them, letting them know right. about the real true doctrine of the Lord. Right. Right. But even know the son that was out there, they want to hear the word of God, that ain't stop Jesus Christ from preaching the word. He still had something to do. He right. had to go out there and try to help somebody. Amen. He had to go out there and try to save somebody. Right. Well, this is what this ministry built up on. Going out there to help somebody. Going out there to let somebody know let the devil go to hell by himself. See, the devil don't want to do nothing but try to steal you and rob you out your soul. But I'm here to tell you right now, God so loved us so much that he sent the best he had. On, he turned to send his son to die for the sinful world. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. So we can be able to get back to him. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. You brothers got your Bible, I want to turn to a couple of scriptures. Yeah, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. And just expound on Jesus Christ in this video. Expound on something that really helped me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, in the dark times of my life. On, when I was looking for a savior, I was tired of going all in false church. On, See, I was, a, I was a brother that grew up in churches. All my uncles and all my uncles and, 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 and my relatives, they were so-called preachers. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. But at the time they were preaching at me as a being a young boy, I'm putting all my hope and all my trust in them. But when I came to the real statue of Jesus Christ and realized what they were preaching, they weren't preaching nothing that was that was gonna save my soul. They weren't preaching the name of Jesus and how the power came through the name of Jesus. They weren't preaching that you had to get the Holy Ghost and fire upon your soul before you pass out this life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. They weren't preaching that salvation only came in that one day. On, See, they weren't preaching it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Right. But when the Lord started dealing with me and started giving me some knowledge and understanding of this real true doctrine, when well, the Lord began to show me about a straight gate that I had right. to go through, right. thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. So I can receive that love. Right. See, they weren't preaching that to me out there. But I needed somebody that was going to stand up on the word of God that wasn't going to sugarcoat the word to me. Right. That was going to give me the word. I'm talking about the doctrine of the word. It showed me and helped me through right. the Word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord. That's why God, He led me right down to His Son and Amen. gave me a pastor that was going to His heart that started feeding me with some knowledge and understanding. Amen. Well, I began to eat the doctrine of Jesus Christ oh, yeah. through the knowledge and understanding. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Turn over now to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. I thank the Lord for this ministry. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And this ministry really helped me. Seeing young Amen. brothers willing to go out, 
Go out all across the world and preach Jesus Christ. Come on. Right. And tell somebody to come back to the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. There's so many people that's really church hurt. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Being hurt in different churches, going through different churches, and you really start seeing the doctrine what they standing on come ain't on, real. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. That's why young people and brothers and sisters turn away from the churches and feel like they ain't got to go to church no right. more because the doctrine ain't right. Yeah. But we standing on Jesus Christ, no right. Lord, and we can't move about Lord, Jesus Christ, Doctor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Three. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. That's it. But if our gospel be hid, he said, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. It is hid to them that are lost. To whom the God of this world, whom the God of this world, blinded the mind, has blinded the mind of them which believe not. Of them that believe not. Well, when you see the God of this world, you got to know it's a God of this world and it's a God of heaven. On, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Well, the God of heaven, he ain't going to blind your mind. Ain't right, that right? right? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Right. Yes, Lord. But the God of this world, he want to put all this natural stuff in front of you and try to blind your mind. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. But I'm here to tell you right now, I don't care what you can accumulate, what the devil can give you. Don't you know when you die and pass out this life, you can't take none of that with right, you. Right, Thank right, you, Lord right, Jesus. Right. Yes, Lord. But we're going to take the word of God every Everywhere we go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Why? Because that word of God, it comes with some everlasting life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. It comes with some everlasting life. Read on, brother. Let the light. Let the light. From the glorious gospel of Christ. From the glorious gospel of Christ. Who is the image of God. Who is the image of God. Should shine unto them. Should shine unto them. Well, that light is knowledge. Once you get that knowledge and start eating that knowledge, thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, of the real Jesus Christ. Don't you know that knowledge begin to shine? That knowledge begin to shine inside of you. You'll be able to go help somebody. You'll be able to go help somebody and pull them up. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, and bring them into the high stature of Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. But I found that you got to overcome something, ain't that right? You got to overcome when the Lord called your name. You got to overcome something. Turn over that to Revelation 3rd chapter. Lord. My sweet Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, See, when the Lord called you, when he go out there and hand pick you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. He calling you to be a soldier. Come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's like the brother was saying earlier. When you go inside of the Walmarts or the, or the stores, the grocery stores out here, and you go pick you some fruit, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. When you go pick that fruit out, you're going to examine that fruit. Right. You're going to get the best fruit that you can find before you can put it in that bag. On, you ain't going to go just grab no any fruit and put it inside your bag. You're going to examine that fruit to try to make sure that fruit right. But well, what about your soul again? Come on, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Man. Lord. That's the way you got to be about your soul. Right. Once you examine your soul through the doctrine of Jesus Christ and see where you sitting there, don't you know that be God dealing with you right there? Right. He be trying right. to bring you up right there in your mind. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. But the enemy always going to be there. But my Bible let me know that he gave us power. He gave us power to thread over serpents and scorpions and over power over all enemies. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. There's nothing that the enemy means that will harm or hurt. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. I found out can't nothing hurt, harm or hurt me if I'm standing on God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Can't nothing hurt or harm me if I'm still standing down there digging inside my prayer life and getting more from God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Can my Bible say he gave us a spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. He ain't gives a spirit that's a feeling. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. He gave us a spirit that can go out there and preach the word of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Why? Because we know what we're standing on. We're standing on God's true word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Read uh, Revelation 3rd chapter. And about the 14th verse, brother. 12. 12 verse. Him that overcome. Man, come get 11, brother. Behold. Behold. I come quickly. I, I come quickly. Hold that fast. Hold that fast. With thy hat. With thy hat. Let no man take thy crown. Let no man take thy crown. Him that overcome. Him that overcome. Will I make a pillar. Will I make a pillar. In the temple of my God. In the temple of my God. Where well, the pillar is something that's going to hold something up. That's right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. When he called you to his ministry. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Some way, thank you, Lord Jesus. He put some type of confidence in you that you'll be able to hold up some. Well, that's why we in here right now. We holding up Jesus' name down and high. Yeah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank yes, Lord. You. But we found out that the name of Jesus is the family name. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And Jesus Christ, he got his name from his father. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And that's a family name that God passed down to his son. Right. But Jesus Christ, he told the disciples that he had to go away so the comforter can come. That's Don't right. you know that comforter when it came? It came through the mighty name of Jesus. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And when that comforter came, when they was up there in the upper room on the day of Pentecost, they was in there praying. Right. Everybody was in there pushing their body. Right. See how the Bible let us know? It was about 120 right. of them. They was all in one place. Right. They all even had their mind. Right. Thank you, Lord right. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Right. On one thing. Right. They had their mind on receiving the power that Jesus Christ was telling them about. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And my Bible let me know that he came in there like a rushing mighty wind. Right. Every soul that was in there, they had their mind on the Lord, oh. which was about 120 of them. Right. They was all filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. They was all filled with that comforter, that new comforter that Jesus Christ oh. would let them know. Right. Right. See, when Jesus Christ had went away, he took the comfort back that he had that he had upon them. Oh. Don't you know that comforter with them while the Lord was there? But right. the Lord was telling them that he had to go away so oh. that other comforter come. Oh. Yeah. That comfort came on the day of Pentecost. When they was up in there pushing that mind. Right. And I found that you got to get that same comfort right. deep down inside your soul right. to walk in this life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's Lord. Lord Jesus. Because without the comfort up on your soul, on. which is the Holy Ghost, anything that the devil try to bring your way, don't you know the devil going to get the best of you? Right. Why? Because you ain't got the Holy Ghost and fire up on your soul. And I found that every time, every time the devil came to Jesus Christ, don't you know he defeated the devil? Right. Why? Right. Because he had the true spirit of his father. Right deep down up on his soul. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And every time that devil came his way, he was right there to stand up on the word of God. But that's why these ministers in here today, they standing on the word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Because they know if they stand up on the word of God, no matter what the devil try to bring their way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yeah, it been many trials and tribulations. Yeah, the trials and tribulations gonna come. But my Bible let me know that we can overcome every trial and tribulation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. As long as we coming in that mighty name, that mighty name of Jesus, so we come with so much power. It comes with so much power. But don't you know, it's two type of tables you can eat on. You can eat on from the Lord table, or you can eat on from the table of the devil. See, we chose to eat at the Lord table. Why? Because we found strength at that table. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. We found everlasting life at that table. We found something that can help us strive this life, that help us be able to live this life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. See, the world don't always try to give you Nothing but the worldly thing. But my Bible let me know. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Turn over there, matter of fact. Amen. To all. Uh, Hebrew. Hebrew. Yeah, Hebrew is real quick. Thank you, Lord. Hey, See, without the Spirit of God, every time the devil try to come your way, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. See, the Bible say the devil is crap, ain't that right? Yes, and the devil, I already know the tricks. And the fly game to try to come to you with. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. But I'm telling you now, brothers and sisters, if you keep standing up on God's word and keep seeking this power, which is the Holy Ghost, and you put that power up on your soul, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Life will start being really better and better for you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. I know before I came to the, to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and got accepted inside this ministry. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every time that devil came my way, I ain't have no power to try to resist the devil. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. But the minute I start praying and crying out to God and asking God to help me, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Because I was tired of going out there telling myself I was done selling drugs, telling myself I was done smoking drugs, but the next day I was still back over there picking up the drugs again. Why? Because I ain't have no power. Every time that devil came my way, seemed like I gave in to him every time, every time, and every time, every time. But one time, man, I got tired and I began to cry. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And the time I began to cry, I heard the voice of the Lord clearly. And with that voice, it led me all the way 
to, to he led you all the way to his son. And when God leads you to his son, his son began to shape you. He began to mold you Man. right there in your mind. He began to let you know. He began to show you. Right. He began to give you wisdom and understanding of his father's word. When I start getting wisdom and understanding of God's oh, word, right. thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. Oh, no. The more I start fearing God, I found out if you ain't got that fear of God, thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. You ain't got nothing. Right. You got to have that fear of God. Right. See, every time the devil try to come your way, don't you know you'll be able to resist him? Because you got that seed which is inside of you, which is the word of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. And the more I learned about Jesus Christ, and the more I learned about God, the more that fear came upon me. The more that fear came upon me, thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. And they start preaching about baptism in Jesus' name. I know that I had so much dirt up on my soul. I know that I had to get my soul oh, clean. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. I remember getting baptized as a young child. They baptized me in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But I read the scripture when I came to the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. I couldn't see nowhere where they got baptized in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Every night they got baptized, they got baptized in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. When I read that and started searching through the scriptures, when I started getting some understanding, I started looking at that deal. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. And that thought came back to my mind when I was a child and I got baptized in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. I know he said over there in Matthew, thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, 28 and 19. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. He told them to go, get baptized in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But he told them to do it in the name. Right. He told them to do it in the name of the Father. Right. He told them to do it in the name of the Son. Right. He told them to do it in the name of the Holy Ghost. Right. But I had to find out what that name was. Oh. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. In order for me to do it right, I had to find out what the Father's right. name was. Oh. I had to find out what the Son's name was. Oh. I had to find out what the Holy Ghost name right. was. When I found out the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost was the name of Jesus, oh. don't you know he did something to my soul? Right. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. Soon that understanding came to me. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. And I realized what the Father's name really was. On, I realized what the Son's name was. Yeah. I really found out when the Holy Ghost it came, it came right down through the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. I remember telling the man of God that I was ready to get baptized. Why? Because the way that I was baptized when I was younger, that was the wrong way. I wanted to get baptized the right. same way that my pastor got baptized. Oh. I wanted to get baptized the right way for the remission of my sin. Oh. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, oh. Lord. Yeah, I, I wanted to get Jesus. baptized the right way. Amen. Turn over there to Hebrew 4 and 12. Oh Lord. Yes Lord. See the word of God, it starts doing something to your heart. When Amen. you come to God and you sincere and you ready to change your life and you gave up all these prayers and you asked God to help you. That word, it starts doing something to you. Mm -hmm. read, read 4 and 12 brother. For the word of God is quick. For the word of God is quick. The power is sharper. Powerful and sharp. Than any two edged sword. Than any two edged sword. Piercing even to the divine. Piercing even to the divine. Asunder of soul and spirit. Soul and spirit. And of the joints and marrow. You mean to tell me that word do something to the soul? All right, brother. It do something to the soul. Oh, wow. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. When that word get preached right. It make that soul want to draw closer and closer to the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Especially when you come into the house of God fresh up out the streets. Don't know nothing about God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. When that word start getting to preach, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And you ain't really got no understanding, uh -huh. but God start giving you understanding. Amen. I'm talking about step at a time. Uh -huh. Not putting too much up on you. Uh -huh. feed you just like a little baby. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. And the more understanding you get, the more you want to draw closer to God. Yeah, the more understanding you get, the more you ready to go get baptized the right way. Amen. The more understanding you get, the more you're going to see you finding yourself up on your knees praying because you want the Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. But that's what the Word do to your soul. That's what the Word really do to your soul. It draws you closer and closer to the Lord. I know that's what it did for me. The more I heard the Word, the more I know I had to be right back there. And they serve hear some more, hear some more of that Word because that Word, it started helping me. That Word, it started teaching me. That Word, it started Molding me, but the more I'm coming back, turn closer and closer to the word, the more God start giving me, the more understanding He start giving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. And the more understanding He start giving me, 
Amen. The more and more I start fearing the Lord. The Lord. more and more I start fearing the Lord. And the more I start drawing closer to Him. Hey. The more I start drawing closer to Him. Why well, I stay there in prayer? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Because I wanted that power that they got. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. On the day of Pentecost. Oh, yeah. I wanted the Lord to baptize my soul. Hey. I wanted to feel the Spirit of God. Oh, yeah. yeah, everybody was telling me about the Spirit. Oh, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hey. Yes, Lord. But I needed that witness inside of myself. Hey. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. But the more I stayed up on my knees, hey. I'm talking about crying. I'm talking about tears coming out my eyes. I'm talking about snack coming out my nose. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, because I was singing this power. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, I was singing this power. What about I say, Lord? The more I suck the power, I'm talking about the more I suck the power. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, I was doing just pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, the power that first night. Thank you, the power that second night. Thank you, the power that first one. But the more I kept coming, the more I kept coming. See the Lord power.
Your grace and mercy. Oh, yeah. Lord of oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We live it this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just because of you. I want to thank you, Lord. Praise you to your grace and mercy.
Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. What I say? Say Corinthians. One. Chapter one. Say Corinthians chapter one. Uh say Corinthians chapter one. Okay. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Sorry, what? Yes, sir. Oh! Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ. An apostle of Jesus Christ. By the will of God. See there? He was an apostle of Jesus Christ, but it was by God's will. Come on, brother. Don't you know that God has a will and a purpose and a plan for each and every soul in the house? Hallelujah. Praise God. We seen Paul when he was out there persecuting the churches of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He thought he was doing something right for God. Come on, brother. He was serious in what he was doing, but he was persecuting the church of God. And Jesus Christ himself had to come to Paul. Right. When you see, he had to come to each and every one of us. Go ahead. Because you see, God has seen something in us. And don't you know that we was persecuting God? Mm. We was persecuting God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Not so-called persecuting the church, per se, but because we were doing things, we were transgressing against God. He had to come in our life mm -hmm. and help us. He mm -hmm. saved us. Come on, brother. And Timothy, our brother. And Timothy, our brother. Unto the church of God. Unto the church of God. Which is at Corinth. Which is at Corinth. With all the saints which are in Achaia. Which all the saints which are in all in Achaia. Grace be, be to you. Grace be to you. And peace from our God. And God peace our from our God Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Even the Father of our Lord Even Jesus the Christ. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of mercy. What is it? The Father, Father of mercy. It's the Father of mercy. Right. It, says, it says it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Come on. You see that? We can be consumed. But God, he don't, he don't get his anger. It's not going to stay upon us forever. See, because one thing that he loves, he delights in mercy. Amen. And he doesn't want to see the soul of man be forsaken. 